Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jag, and in today's class, we're going to continue with our Math 10 content on uh, analytic geometry. So with that, let's get started. Okay, so uh, here we are, and I just put down analytic geometry. Uh, we're going to try uh, this question here, okay? And uh, what you have is basically a triangle. So I'm going to put find, okay, the slope. Okay, of the median. Okay, uh, so let's put of the median. I'm going to put from point C. And point C in the triangle is basically A and 2. Okay. And I'll give you points A and B. Let's put our given. Okay, as, and then I'm going to put point A. Point A is basically given as uh, 6 and 9. Okay, and then point B is given as 2 and 5. Okay, so just like this. Okay, uh, so basically what I'm going to do is just like a really quick sketch here. Okay, uh, again, it doesn't have to be exact. This is just to show you what the median does look like. Okay. All right, so let's try A here. So say it's 6, okay, and 9 is right here. So this is point A, okay, like that. Make sure you are graphing, okay? Um, in analytic geometry, you should always graph it out first so I know what I'm dealing with. So I have 2 here, okay, and say 5 is right here. So this is point B, okay? And then point C is 8, and uh, 2, so this is point C right here, okay? So again, my triangle and my uh, sketch here is not to scale, okay? Make sure you do use graph paper, okay, when you're doing this. All right, so what's happening is I'm drawing my median. The median always is touching uh, the vertice of the triangle. And I'm going to draw a straight line. Use a ruler, okay, when you do it. And it's going to hit a point, um, the point that's opposite, okay? And this is actually the midpoint that it's hitting at, okay? So the midpoint of A and B, okay? And what we're looking for is the slope, okay, of this median. So what we're going to do first, okay, is I'm going to find, let's put midpoint, okay, of AB, okay? Uh, so one more time, remember the actual formula for the midpoint is going to be x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2, so just like this, okay? Uh, you can use the points right here, okay? So you're doing 6 plus 2 divided by 2, and for y, I'm going to do 9 plus 5, and then divided by 2. Does everyone see that? Okay? And I notice I do need to uh, have point M, so I just use M for midpoint, because I'm going to t use the point M and point C to actually find the slope, okay, of this line, or of the median itself, okay? So we're going to do 6 plus 2, so this is 8 divided by 2, and 14 divided by 2, all right? So this is going to equal to 4 and 7. Okay, and I can actually see, okay, that um, this is actually a pretty accurate point right here, okay, like we're at 4 and like about 7, okay? So even if you do uh, make a sketch, just make sure uh, your answer looks reasonable, okay? So this is my point M, okay? And what the question is asking for, okay, is the slope, okay, of this point. So that's what we're going to, of the line itself. So let's write it over here. I'm going to put slope, okay, of CM, okay? And I always make sure that I'm referring to the diagram, and that's what I actually write. So the teacher can actually see what it is you're solving for, okay? So this is the formula. So M equals, okay, Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Everyone see that? So I'm going to put equals. All right. 
and uh, we are going to use point C. Okay, so I'm going to write the points up here so everyone can see that point C is 8 and 2. And this is point M that we saw for. Okay, so I'm going to put M here. So M is 4 and 7. So one more time, anytime you put uh, the actual points into the formula for slope, I always make sure I label this. So x1, y1. This is x2, y2. Okay, now we're going to plug it into this formula. Okay, so y2 minus y1, so 7 minus 2, over x2 uh, minus x1, 4 minus 8. Does everyone see that? Okay, I'm going to subtract these numbers. So we're getting 5 here over negative 4. Okay, so this is what my slope is, okay, of this line. Okay, and we are just going to try and extend this, okay, because a common question is not just the slope of the median, it is actually the equation of the line of the median, okay? And what is really uh, important here is that we are using our slope, okay, which is 5 over negative 4, okay? So let's try that. Uh, let's try the uh, extension of this question here. So I'm just going to rewrite uh, my slope, okay? So negative 5 over 4. So again, remember, it doesn't matter where you are writing uh, the negative sign, okay? Uh, what's important, okay, is that you're going to plug it into your formula, okay? So I'm going to look for now, let's put it up here. So the equation of the median, okay? I remember because it's a straight line, I'm always going to put it into the y equals mx plus b, okay? Now the points that I can use, okay, is going to be the point m, which is the midpoint, okay? Uh, let's plug in the actual m value first, so negative 5 over 4x plus b, okay? I can also use point c, okay, as well, which was 8 and 2, okay? The reason I can use this point is because uh, the median goes through this point as well. This is the vertice of the triangle. So I'm going to use this for my x and y values. Okay, so the y is 2. So 2 equals negative 5 over 4x plus b. Okay, and uh, we're just going to plug in the x value as well. The x value is 8. So we get negative 5 over 4 times 8 plus b, okay? And so we are going to just multiply. Make sure you're only multiplying the numerator here. So negative 5 over 8 times 8, negative 40 over 4 plus b, okay? And uh, I always make sure I reduce this, okay, before I take it to the other side. So let's divide this by 2 on the top and the bottom. So it becomes negative 20 over 2, plus b. Does everyone see that? And the reason I reduce it is basically it's more simple, okay, when you take it to the other side. And I can see that I have to take a common denominator, okay? So it's going to become 2 plus <clears throat> uh, 20 over 2, okay? And uh, that equals uh, to b. And again, we just divide that. So 20 divided by 2, which is 10. Remember, the value for b doesn't have to be actually a whole number, okay? That's just the case in, in uh, this example. Okay, so we're going to put, sorry, b equals 12, okay? And it's going to be uh, positive here, okay? And uh, so I can see that I have my value for b, and I also have the slope as well, okay? So my slope is what I had and what I solved for, okay, in the second step, okay? And uh, we can write our final answer here, okay? So it should be a therefore statement kind of. So therefore, y equals my m value, so negative 5 over 4x, okay? And then plus 12. Does everyone see that? Mm-hmm, Okay. So this is actually my final answer. I want to just box that. And just so the teacher can see what the final answer is. Okay, one mark is always given for your final answer of your uh, median equation. Okay.
and um, the other marks will be allocated based on you showing all of your steps okay all right so this is actually how you find the equation uh, of the median okay so make sure first you are looking for uh, the slope of the median and after you have the slope all you're going to do is plug it into the y equals mx plus b equation okay i'm going to pick a point and in this case we picked uh, the actual vertice of the triangle and i plugged it back into uh, my equation here and i'm actually always solving for the y-intercept okay which is the b value here okay all right so if there are no questions that does bring this video to an end thank you so much for watching please make sure you do like share and subscribe to the channel and i will see everyone in the next video thanks bye